This video shows you how to create mobile SDK hybrid applications using Force Droid or Force iOS plus the Cordoba command line in mobile SDK 3.0. To develop hybrid apps, you must meet the following prerequisites. Proficiency in HTML5 and JavaScript development, an installed development environment for the intended platform for building and maintaining the hybrid container app, for hybrid remote apps, you must have a Visual Force landing page to point to when you create your app. For hybrid apps, Mobile SDK 2.3 marks a big change from previous releases. In Mobile SDK 2.2 and earlier, you used the Cordova library as a sub-project or module of your Mobile SDK hybrid projects. With Mobile SDK 2.3, you now start with a Cordova application and then add the new Mobile SDK Cordova plugin to your Cordova project. To build a hybrid app, you use the Force iOS or Force Droid MPM package, just as in the past couple of releases. However, we've added a few extra steps at the end. Here's the new stuff. After Force iOS or Force Droid finishes creating the app, Use the Cordova command line to add other Cordova modules to your application and also to prepare and build it. Your app isn't ready to run until you've done the steps summarized in this slide. So let's get started. First, open a command prompt or terminal window to install the Cordova command line. On Mac, type sudo npm g install Cordova. On Windows, Type the same thing without sudo. Mobile SDK 3.0 requires Cordova version 3.7 or later. Now, let's install the Force Droid or Force iOS NPM package. If you previously installed an earlier version of either package, you must reinstall it for Mobile SDK 2.3 or later. You install these packages just like you did for Cordova. Note that you can use either Force Droid or Force iOS on a Mac, but you can only use Force Droid on Windows. Now, use the Force iOS or Force Droid command to create a new hybrid app. Since I'm using Force iOS, I'll type Force iOS create. Go through the same steps you would previously. For the application type, specify hybrid underscore local for a hybrid app that stores its code in the local project, or hybrid underscore remote if you want a hybrid app that keeps some or all of its code in a Visual Force app on the server. I'm going to create a hybrid remote app. Hybrid remote apps require a start page, which is the relative URL of your Visual Force landing page. For instance, forward slash apex forward slash followed by your page name. When Force iOS or Force Droid finishes, you've got a new Cordova app that includes the Salesforce Mobile SDK as a Cordova plugin and is configured to behave as a mobile SDK app. However, it's not quite finished. Before we do the final steps, let's take a look at what's been done so far. In the www subfolder of the project directory, you'll find a bootconfig.json file. This file contains the configuration you specified at the command line. Now let's use the Cordova command line to finish the project. Change to the project directory. Next, add your app's Cordova plugins. For each plugin, type Cordova plugin add, followed by the plugin repo or plugin name. For this example, let's add the org.apache.cordova.statusbar plugin. 
This plugin lets you control the appearance and visibility of the status bar. You can search for other available plugins at plugins.cordoba.io. Now you can add support for your target operating system. You can add Android to a Force iOS based project or iOS to a Force Droid project. However, you can't use an iOS target on Windows. Cordova adds a platform directory to your project and then creates platform specific versions of your project there. Platform projects include a copy of your source code plus all the plugins you've added to your app. To add iOS support to your project, you would type Cordova Platform Add iOS. Since we created this project with Force iOS, this command has no effect here. If you call the command on a Force Droid project, it creates an Xcode project in your platform slash iOS folder. Let's add Android support to our Force iOS project. First, be sure that you've added the Android SDK directory to your system path. Then type Cordova Platform Add Android. So now you have a new Eclipse project in your platforms slash Android folder. But there's one more extremely important step. Type Cordova Prepare. Cordova Prepare deploys your web assets to their respective platform specific directories under the platforms directory. Let's revisit the directory structure. If you drill down into the platforms directory, you'll see a folder for each platform you've added. Open the Android folder, for example, and you'll see that there is an assets slash www folder. When you run Cordova Prepare, it copies your source files into this folder for your Android project. As long as you run Cordova Prepare regularly, you shouldn't need to edit anything manually in these platform-specific folders. Instead, just do all your customization in the project-level www folder and then run Cordova Prepare. Now that your app is finished, you can run it from the Cordova command line. Type Cordova emulate followed by the platform name. For instance, I'll type Cordova emulate iOS. Cordova launches your default iOS simulator and then installs and runs your new app. Thank you for watching.